Kevin Stefanski, the head coach of the now Cleveland Browns, his first season there in Cleveland, spoke yesterday about a litany of things and really addressed some of his players and where they stand when it comes to the health. And look, we saw what happened in Cleveland. I mean, it blew up. I oh, mean, it was one of those situations where all the eyes were on them and they did not deliver on a lot of fronts. But one issue was the health of their key players. Odell Beckham Jr. with a core muscle injury, Jarvis Landry with a hip injury. So as we start to project this version of the Cleveland Browns, because Baker's back under center, do you think if everyone's healthy and now new direction of Kevin Stefanski, is it a more successful outing, uh, maybe with less attention on? Well, it, it, it's, it's quieter on the Cleveland front than it was uh, last season. Of course, there are more things going on. COVID-19 we're dealing with. We just mentioned the racial strife uh, with which the uh, country is having to tackle. Uh, so it's quieter. They don't have all these high expectations heading into this season. But you're talking about two of the better wide receivers in all the league. Jarvis Landry is trying to get healthy and make sure he doesn't miss a game for the first time in his six, seven-year NFL career. And you look at Odell Beckham. I mean, he, he was still with this is a testament to the, how tough this guy is all yeah. that prima donna stuff put that aside but here's a guy with a torn abdomen uh, or abdominal muscle and yet he played through that to the tune of 74 catches uh, and he had over a thousand yards and he's saying now i'm 100 healthy this is going to be my i'm paraphrasing here this is honestly going to be my best season yet that's what he's saying name it and claim it baby i think just not having every day the questions and the spotlight and the expectations on their shoulders which they admittedly didn't handle correctly uh will be as important as anything but health is always key in the nba as we continue to see how players are reacting to the news that's coming out of florida and what that means for the eventual bubble that they're expected to play in here in a few weeks kevin durant uh, made his opinions heard now he's still recovering from the achilles injury but he spoke yesterday on a podcast and said that even if he were healthy, uh, he would not feel comfortable with the unpredictability of the current situation there with the proposed bubble in Florida. So is this understandable, BJ, or is this a situation where it's a player that's not going to be available to play, voicing their opinion in a way that almost feels like it's taking away from the efforts that the league's putting in to making this happen? Definitely understandable. We've seen myriad uh, t takes on this. You know, some guys for health issues, Avery Bradley, of course, his child's underlying condition, uh, not going to participate. And there are others who have question marks uh, or questions, I should say, as to whether or not they should take part in this new way forward that the NBA has outlined. But I thought Kevin Durant's statement was, was kind of contradictory. I mean, he, at one point he says that this, the group and the group says, hey, we're going to do this. Well, I'm with the group. But then he says, on the other hand, well, I'm not going. Which one is it? Are you with the group? If there's a consensus within the group that we should take part in the uh, revamp season, or are you going to stick to your conviction and not go? Uh, I, I'm not understanding that, E. I'm with you. And, and I love Kevin Durant as a player. He yeah. was on our Maryland all-time list. But sometimes it feels like his words talk, talk himself into a corner and his opinions seem to waver. And uh, I think big picture with this, as we've said all week, and it's something that I'm, I'm really starting to, uh, to hopefully project even more, is that it's about people's comfort. And right. if you're comfortable being a part of it, then enjoy it and uh, embrace it. If you're not, don't. But I don't think there's a need for any divisiveness about who's going and who's not. That's really where I'm settling on.